In the race for success, the world often advocates cutting down on sleep, portraying it as a luxury sacrificed for productivity. But what if I told you that sleep, far from being a wasteful indulgence, is the very foundation of your long life? Over 100 million plus Indians today are suffering from sleep apnea. We have all been told throughout the times of our entire lives to cut down on sleep so as to increase our success ratio. The average sleep time in various countries, for example in Japan, is 5 hours 59 minutes. In Saudi Arabia, it's 6 hours and 8 minutes. 6 hours and 20 minutes for our country, India. While you all must be thinking that all of these numbers might point out at more productivity or better productivity. But no, these numbers can prove fatal for us. Science says that an average adult needs to sleep at least seven and a half hours every night. America's Center for Disease Control says seven hours or more is the recommended sleep time for all adults, barring three to five percent of the population, which can do with less than six hours of sleep. And that is merely because of a rare gene mutation. Sleep is not one size fits all. The amount you require depends upon your age, your lifestyle and your genetics. To understand everything a bit better, let's try to get a hold on the science of sleep first. During our regular sleep, we go through four to five sleep cycles. Each sleep cycle takes between 70 to 120 minutes. Now think of your sleep like a journey. The first couple of cycles are dominated by non-REM sleep. This helps your body and mind to rejuvenate. It's like a cleansing process for your body, brain and your heart. And as the night progresses, your brain shifts gears and enters the REM sleep, where most of your dreaming happens. During these later cycles, our brain processes and sorts all of the information that you have gathered during the day. It's your brain's way of organizing and making a sense of all the experiences that you've had. Now that numbers have already briefed us that we are sleep deprived, can we complete our sleep quota in intervals throughout the day? Our sleep patterns are indeed influenced by our body's internal clock, known as the circadian rhythm. This rhythm makes us naturally sleepy between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. in the afternoon and between 2 a.m. and 4 a.m. during the night. The ideal bedtime falls between 8 p.m. and midnight, aligning with the natural dip in our body energy. And during these hours, our bodies are more inclined to enter the restorative or deep sleep stages. Some studies suggest a correlation between late bedtime and depressive symptoms too. A study conducted for over 37 years has now revealed that people who sleep late during the night have a chance of dying earlier. However, experts often emphasize that the total amount of sleep is crucial. Getting seven to eight hours of uninterrupted sleep is generally recommended for your overall health. If someone sleeps by 2 a.m. and completes their seven and a half hours of sleep, it might reduce the risk of cardiovascular diseases or even diabetes. But the challenge lies in ensuring undisturbed sleep. On an average, a person spends about 26 years of their lives sleeping. That's one third of your entire lives spent asleep in the bed. And this time is equated to the time that we waste in our lives. So what do we do? Cut down on our already sleep deprived lives. Now, trying to reduce the amount you sleep for or your time of sleep probably isn't a good idea. And with cutting down on our sleep, we aren't just reducing our time in the bed but risking our health and ultimately reducing the size of our lifespan in the longer run. Quality sleep is crucial for metabolic and endocrine function. Research has linked insufficient sleep time to obesity, heart diseases and diabetes. Lack of sleep is also a cause of weight gain. On an average, sleep deprived people consume 385 extra kilocalories per day. Insufficient sleep has been linked to breast cancer in women and prostate cancer in men. Lack of sleep is related to anxiety, related to depression. South Korea and Japan, known for their poor sleep quality, also have the highest suicide rates globally. Japan even experiences a phenomenon called karushi, 
where the death is attributed to overwork and lack of sleep. So far, lack of sleep is not something that doctors commonly list as an official cause of death. But what about road accidents, cancer, heart diseases? The three major causes of death among adults. Can severe sleep deprivation contribute to all of these fatalities? Unfortunately, it can. Sleep is so vital for our overall health that it's something we cannot literally live without just like air, food, water. We often tend to say that if we sleep less, we can utilize those hours to get our work done and be more productive. But that can never be the case. In fact, a lack of sleep undermines productivity. Research shows that insufficient sleep leads to significantly worse productivity. When we are sleep deprived, work feels like a burden. It feels like a struggle and concentration becomes challenging. And we've all experienced one of those days at our work. In the United States, about 1.2 million working days are lost each year due to insufficient sleep. In Japan, it's around 600,000 days. And these are not merely days lost, but there have been impacts on country's GDP because of these days. But how do we know if we are sleep deprived? Typically, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to fall asleep. And if you doze off, within just a few minutes, it could be a sign of your sleep deprivation. Sleep is something you can never hack or crack, say getting 4 hours of sleep and aiming for the results of 8 hours. Today, sleep has transformed into a product and indeed a luxurious one. The sleep tech device market today is valued at over $10.9 billion. Our sleeping habits are fueling this market and brands are taking advantage by offering solutions in the form of health and wellness products. But that's purely misleading marketing and there's no product in the market so far that can make up for our lost sleep. The power of sleep lies purely in the hours of sleep.